Is Aaron Marino's fragrance any good? Hey fragrance family, I'm David. I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today I have an outside review because going inside is way too crazy right now. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of woodworking in the background, which is not a euphemism. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to review this right here, Rebel by Pete and Pedro, which is owned by Aaron Marino, the uh, channel I am Alpha M on YouTube. Now, Pete and Pedro is Aaron Marino's uh, kind of hair and grooming company. And they recently just branched off and they started making fragrances. This is the first one. They have another one coming on the way called Hero. And I'll have a review of that whenever it comes out. Rebel is very interesting. Rebel is inspired by Aventus. And when I say that, I know that there are some viewers that are rolling their eyes immediately. <laughs> now, I've met Aaron Marino in person and I know that Aventus is one of his favorite fragrances. So he wanted to make a fragrance for his line that was similar to Aventus, uh, but more affordable. And I think he did a pretty good job there. Now for full disclosure, they sent this to me for review. I've met Aaron Marino a couple of times. And I think he's a good guy, but as with everything, I'm gonna give 100% honesty for this review. Rebel is an EDP concentration eau de parfum, which is stronger than eau de toilette. And on their website, they have uh, just under 200 reviews of it. And the average is about four out of five stars, which is pretty good. And for the notes, I'll have them on the screen so you can see what notes are in the fragrance. The bottle is just kind of a standard square bottle. Uh, nothing too special about it, but nothing bad about it either. Um, I think it's a pretty nice bottle, all things considered. The price on this is about $50, which that's gonna play heavily into how people are going to perceive this fragrance. Now, as for my thoughts about this, there's not a whole lot to say about Rebel. I think it's okay. I think that uh, it does smell kind of in the Aventus realm, though it's not exactly an Aventus clone. The problem with Rebel is that it kind of smells like Aventus. It's a very kind of standard citrus woody fragrance. Um, predominant notes in this that I get are bergamot, um, some pineapple, and then some kind of run-of-the-mill green and woody notes in the base and mid. It's a pleasant scent. It's definitely likable. I can't say anything negative about it. It doesn't smell bad at all. I think it's well-constructed for what it is. And especially for the price, I think it's a good fragrance for the price. For $50, I think that's an excellent price for what you get here. It's definitely likable, and it does kind of share a resemblance to Aventus. And that's both good and bad, I think. It's kind of a double-edged sword. Aventus is a wildly popular fragrance. It really kind of raised the bar for a citrus woody fragrance when it came out. And then because of that, you have a lot of clones of Aventus. So you have kind of a crowded marketplace for this style of fragrance. I know of at least a dozen fragrances that are clones or inspired by Aventus that smell very similar to this. And that's one of the problems with this. There are fragrances out there that are in this style that I think do it better and for around a similar price, like Mont Blanc Explorer and even some from Hawthorne. There's one version of Hawthorne. I just did a, a, a review recently that is better than this, about the same price too. I think there is a large segment of people that might not be into fragrances in a very serious way, but more of a casual way. They may have one or maybe two fragrances. And I think that if you're one of those people that you don't really care about all the notes, you know, you just wanna smell fresh and clean and you wanna smell good, I think this is good. I think this is good for you. I think if you wanna buy this because you like Aaron Marino and you wanna support what he's doing, I think that's good too. If you have some experience in the fragrance world and you're a collector, I don't think this is going to wow you. I don't think this is gonna blow you away at all. But I think for the casual person who kind of smells this in a vacuum, I think that you'll like this. All things considered, I think this is a great spring and summer scent. It's fresh, citrusy. It's gonna be something that people reach for. And I think that's really what Air Marino was going for with this. It's just one of those go-to nice citrus scents. I think this is good for casual occasions. And I think this does work well in the office. Performance on me was not great. Um, I would say it was a little bit below average. And for an eau de parfum concentration, I, I don't think that that's necessarily very good. I know this is kind of an increased concentration than before. It's kind of a reworked version of it. And they kind of went to lengths to make this a little bit more powerful. And I can only say, I don't even want to know what the previous version was like, because this one, this one is fine, um, but I just want more out of it. Making a fragrance that fits into an existing line is very tricky. You want to make something that people like, but you also want to make something that does something maybe a little bit different. Those things don't always go hand in hand. And this is one example of this. Pete and Pedro made a very likable fragrance, but I don't know if they knew that it was such a saturated market with fragrances that smell a lot like this. And some of them 
the same price, some of them better for the same price. All in all, it's a good fragrance. If you don't have any prior knowledge to Aventus clones or uh, smell-alikes, if you buy this, I still think it's worth it. For $50 for a 100 ml bottle, I think that's an excellent uh, value for what you get. This is the 50 ml bottle, by the way. But for the veteran out there who is looking for an Aventus type of fragrance, and they want something that maybe smells just as good as Aventus, or they want something that has the best value for buck, I don't think you're gonna find it here. I think this might be something that is a little bit redundant for the more experienced nose. But all that said, it's still pretty good. I'd give this a three out of five. Thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think of Rebel. Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave of the Fragrance Bros. Bye.